If you're looking to take your forms to the next level within monday.com, I want to show you three amazing features that you can take advantage of with an app called Superform. Number one, use sub items within your form. Number two, update or edit an existing item on a board through a form. Number three, use a connected board column within the form. Let's jump in so I can show you how you can do all three of these. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. I want to use this travel expense board to highlight three main differences between work forms and an app called Superforms. I think that work forms, which is Monday's native forms, has a lot of options in terms of customization, in terms of groups, like which group an answer goes to, in terms of embedding items. There's a lot of options there. So I don't want to discount them because I do think that they're important. So if it's something relevant, you should go look at them. But I want to highlight three things that Superforms offers. And there are things that I constantly hear about that my clients are always wanting to add to their forms. So I want to highlight those differences versus the Monday work form. So I'm going to start on a Monday work form. You could see it looks like this. Obviously, I could design it, but I left it really simple. I'm just going to add my name and I'm going to add the date and I can add the expense that I'm submitting, let's just say is $100. So I hit submit. Now, when I go to my main board, you can see this information was just added to the board. I've added a new item to the board. Now, you have this option to add a new item to a board from a Monday form and also from Superforms. One advantage that you have of the Superforms is I can update an existing item. Let's say I want to update this amount because I didn't enter in the right amount. I can actually create a link column here, have a link, and then someone update this amount. If you look above, there's a link to a video specifically about this process. The second advantage of using a Superform is the following. I am going to open this super form that I set up. Actually, it's here. And we're going to preview it. Now, there's two things that I'm actually going to show you at once. The first is this column, where it's your name. And you can see it's a drop down. If you look back at the main board, it's a connected board column. Now, that column is not available in the Monday form, but in super form it is. So essentially, I can choose an item from another board. So here, let's say I want to go here and I want to choose my name. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I can add sub items. Now let's go back and look at our board because we didn't see the sub items before. And you can see that I have sub items for specific things that people can submit. Now, the reason I set this board up like this is because I don't want someone to simply submit a travel expense like here's $100. Yes, we can add more information to it, but usually like when you submit travel expenses, you have more than one travel expense. So what I thought would be a really nice feature is that if you can submit them as sub items and then they all roll up to the item level. Again, this is something that you can do in Superform. So let's look back at our form. So I chose my name and now I can hit add expenses. And what pops up is the sub items. So let's just do, I'm just going to add the information flight. Let's just say my flight was $300. I can add a date and I'm going to choose my option flight and I can add the invoice if I want. Now I also can add, I'm going to hit save. Now I can add another expense and I can, you know, take, let's say a taxi and let's say that cost me $20 and I can choose the date. Again, I can choose type save. Now, obviously you can update the board to reflect whatever you want, but the key thing here is that I'm adding sub items. So now when I hit submit of this item, if we go back to our board. So it's created a new item and now I set it to say incoming form answer. You can do this for either one. But if you see what happens, it has sub items. It has both sub items, the amount, the date and the information. And then I rolled up that sub item information over here. 
So essentially I was able to create a hierarchy when I can have all of these items update a parent item. So just to summarize, three key features that you have in Superforms that you don't have in Monday Forms. Number one is the ability to update an existing item through a form. Number two, you have the ability to choose an item from a connected board column. Unfortunately, you can't choose from a mirror column just yet, but I hope it's coming soon. And number three, you can add sub items upon your submission. Let me know which one you like better, Superforms or Monday Workforms. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.